Welcome to the Catholic with the Bible podcast. I'm Ted, the Catholic who reads his Bible. And what you just heard just then was Move Merchants on the intro music. So today we're going to talk about the first character that comes up within the story of the Gospel of Luke. And unless you've read the Bible yourself, you might not actually know this name. And the guy I'm talking about is Theophilus. And you might wonder why you've never heard that name before. And likely that's because this guy doesn't show up again. Well, not in this book anyways. He shows up in another book, but that book was actually tied to this book. But now they're two set. It's kind of the long story. And I'm not a historian, so I'm not going to get into it. But just know that the Gospel of Luke was dedicated to Theophilus. So what does that mean? So chances are he's the guy who paid to have this book put together, as well as that other book I was talking about just a second ago. And it sounds like a not very big deal until you remember this was 2,000 years ago. This is back when it was really expensive to put books together. Because not only did you need to have the materials, you needed to have somebody who would write. You had people who their job was to write. Because you might have somebody who doesn't know how to read, doesn't know how to write, and this person will do both of those things for you. And we don't really know what Theophilus actually knew. That's the crazy part. The only thing that we do know is if he is having this written down, that's because this is a story he wanted to have recorded. This wasn't just for his own personal enjoyment, even though it gets dedicated to him. He may have heard the story before and said, we need to record this and save this. But more than likely, someone came to him and said, hey, this is important. We need, like, would you please give us some resources for this? And I think that's pretty cool that he spent, that he is truly giving something that he doesn't owe anybody else. He's giving that away so he could help proclaim the story of the gospel. And I know it sounds kind of ridiculous, but this story, the story of Theophilus, just the thought that this guy who got almost no praise, the only reason why his name would have been put down was for the sake of records. He didn't actually get praise for anything other than getting called most excellent Theophilus. And just the thought of him doing that is one of the big reasons why I actually decided to do this podcast. I grew up quote unquote religious, you know, and I don't mean it in like the new agey Christian way where, Oh, I'm not religious. No, I, I'm somebody who I went to church. I paid attention. I learned, I never really absorbed it like how I have now. I just knew this is, this is something I take seriously and I'm going to sit here and I'm going to be good. But now, as I've gotten older, I'm realizing this is something that is a big deal. This is a really big deal. I need to give myself to this. And that's why I'm doing this podcast. I want to share with the rest of the world the story of the gospel. And that's exactly what Theophilus was trying to do. And I think that element of anonymity, that the element of unknowingness that we have towards Theophilus should be something that we take to heart because we don't look at other Christians and immediately realize that's their backstory. We don't look at non-religious people, look at them and say, that's your backstory. We don't know. We just know that there are things that we should hold dear. There are things we should cherish. There are things that we should lift up. And if those things really matter, we should want to share those things with the rest of the world. And you don't need to be an expert. You don't need to have to be good at it. You just have to care. I'm not an expert on this stuff. I am passionate about this stuff because it matters. And as we go through these episodes, you'll see why. But right now, just, I'm not a pastor. I'm not a priest giving a homily. I'm not talking about theology here. I'm just a Catholic who reads his Bible and hopes that you will too. So without further ado, let's move on to our first reading. Luke chapter 1 verses 1 through 4. Since many have undertaken to compile a narrative of the events that have been fulfilled among us, just as those who were eyewitnesses from the beginning and ministers of the word have handed them down to us, I too have decided, after investigating everything accurately anew, to write it down in an orderly sequence for you, most excellent Theophilus, that you may realize the certainty of the teachings you have received. 